Hello, I'm happy to introduce to you Dr. Santosh Bhide, a senior ophthalmologist from the city of Pune, in practice since the last 25 years. Dr. Bhide was one of the trainers for the FACO emulsification wet lab session we had at this year's MOSCON. Welcome, sir. I'd like to ask you, sir, in the last 20 years of your experience of doing FACO emulsification surgery, what has been the difference of opportunities available to trainees in the past and those available today? Uh, see, we have seen a tremendous change in the technique of cataract in last three decades. The cataract surgery has evolved from intracapsular surgery to a micro-incision FACO surgery in last three decades. And the transition was somewhere around 20 to 25 years ago when everybody shifted from extracapsular to FACO. And in those days, uh, the government institutes or the bigger institutes, they had no facility for training the students as well as the private practitioners. The training facility was available only at certain premier institutes and they were charging a substantial amount in those days and uh, we had to take out about three to four months from our private practice which was difficult for the initial practitioner. So in those days most of us uh, who have learned FACO in those days have learned like Eklavya who has learned in Mahabharata. So we used to go to conference, observe the surgeon operating and follow that in our day to day operation theatre practice. We have learned FACO in a bit different way. Nowadays the facilities are available, FACO facilities are available at all the places. The training facilities are available in all the government institutes as well as in private medical colleges. So a person or a trainee who is taking training in ophthalmology can learn FACO emulsification even in his first or second year of residency. They are he can be easily taught all the procedures. Another most advantageous uh, uh, benefit which we have is the availability of weight lab. In those days, weight lab was not freely available because the machines were not available, microscope was not available. Nowadays, if you see that we have 10 microscopes which can be used and 10 trainees we can teach them. 10 machines are there, different companies are willing to keep their machines and train the trainees. And in those days, the trainers were also less because even the senior surgeons, they were also in the phase of learning themselves. So they were also not able to pass their knowledge to the junior consultants as well as to the students. But nowadays, most of the people are routinely doing FACO emulsification. So there is abundant availability of good trainers, good surgeons who can train the newcomers. And because of this wet lab, the students are definitely benefited because you need to have eye-hand coordination, you need to have actual feel of the machine, actual feel of the foot switch, actual feel of the handpiece in your hand and you, use, using both hands simultaneously, you need that coordination, eye-hand coordination and wet lab is the best way in which you can learn this uh, skill stress in a stress-free manner. If you are operating on a patient and trying to learn, there is obviously a lot of stress on the learn, the one who is learning. While here there is less stress for the trainer as well as for the training. So I think wet lab is the best way to initiate the training. Thank you so much sir. I'm sure all the trainees have benefited a lot from your immense experience at this MOSCON. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot.